Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders have made significant contributions to many facets of American culture and society. During AAPI Heritage Month, TMJ4's Andre Williams sat down with a grand master and his children. They've been teaching the Korean martial art of Taekwondo in Milwaukee for nearly 50 years. Taekwondo's rich history traces back to ancient Korea. Its international reach has grown tremendously. Grandmaster J.K. Lee moved to Milwaukee from Korea in 1975 and has been teaching the martial art form for decades. I want to teach this Taekwondo in America. So yeah. out of all the places in America, yeah. how did you pick Milwaukee? One of my friends live here. Yeah, he invited them and I'm Milwaukee here. Milwaukee, I love the Milwaukee. Yes, yeah. and I think Milwaukee loves you too. <laughs> <laughs> he opened his first school in 1976 on 36th and North Avenue. 48 years later, he's got five locations across southeastern Wisconsin. We love each other, never argue me, never shoot. I want to teach the people love and help the is good health. Growing kick the <laughs> Taekwondo is not only about learning self-defense, but also rooted in teaching values like self-control and perseverance. I got a one-on-one -on -one lesson from the Grandmaster, who, by the way, is a nine-degree black belt. Hey, puppy, what is this photo? That's good. <laughs> Just like the target, like that. Ready? Okay, palm straight. Don't hit my hand. Okay. You hit the wall. <laughs> <laughs> that hurt. What's the saying? If at first you don't succeed, try again. Ready? Yeah. Woo! Oh, oh, see, your mouth is too, too strong here. Ooh. You almost hit my hand. Too. I'm sorry. <laughs> Grandmaster J.K. Lee learned Taekwondo as a child and has passed down everything he knows to his children. Bow. Pilsen. Christine Lee helps run the family business and has trained in Taekwondo since she was five. She grew up in Milwaukee and is happy to see people have a better understanding of her culture. I love this city and uh, this is where I was born and uh, going to school in Butler, Wisconsin, being the only Asian uh, and having people not really understand or know what Korea was at that time in the early 80s. And now to have people understand the Korean culture, what Taekwondo is with K-pop. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. Courtesy, integrity, integrity perseverance, self-control, indomitable spirit. spirit. Her brother Chan, who's a six degree black belt, has been teaching for the last 30 years and is proud of what their students have accomplished. One of our black belts pushed the uh, AAPI month uh, curriculum and information to go through our state, Rayon Gorman, uh, and he did a wonderful job. That was his black belt project in making our community a little bit better. Together, the Lee family has taught generations to be the best versions of themselves and that success in martial arts is a journey, not a destination. Just to see Milwaukee grow with the times and seeing the diversity of cultures and attitudes, is, it's absolutely amazing. And that's what makes this uh, city and state great. Throughout May, TMJ4 is celebrating Asian American and Pacific Islander heritage. You can see Andrea's story and all of our reporting at tmj4.com slash AAPI or just scan the QR code on your screen.